Hello and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to create these cute little snowmen. Uh, and like always, make sure you like and subscribe if you find these videos helpful. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new page here, a new window. Here I have another snowman. I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank one. So here's a blank screen here. And when I'm working with these type of designs, I don't like to have the uh, grid in the background. So I, I go ahead and take it off down here, you see. So the grid disappears. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with the circle. And you get to decide how big the circle is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and make mine about 5 inches. Then I'm going to create another circle. Make sure it's centered. So click on the, kind of hover over the circle. Make sure your center, your center point O snap is turned on. Go up a little bit. Go past it. And right there, you want to create a circle. That's a little bit smaller than the other one. This one, that sounds, looks about good. Again, however big you make it, that's up to you. I will now trim, enter, enter, so I'm typing the command, and then clicking enter twice on my keyboard. I'm getting rid of this part here. And then before we go any further, I'm actually going to change the line weight of my drawing. And the way I do that is down here at the bottom, which is a little three, three lines, click on that all the way up to where it says line weight. Make sure line weight is checked. This is not turned on or off, you see. All this does is just make it appear down here. This down here at the bottom, right here, this is line weight. So make sure that's turned on. I'm gonna highlight my drawing here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make all of these lines go right here. And then I can make all these lines thicker. Let's do about one millimeter, should be fine. Highlight. Go to properties. One millimeter should be fine. And then I'm going to draw some little circles for my eyes. Obviously, I don't want my eyes to be this thick. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to draw them and I'm going to change the line thickness here in a little bit. Let's move it a little bit to the right. So it's going to be a little bit more centered. To move, just type in the move command. That looks about right. All right. Now to draw the other line, the other eye, to make sure that it's symmetrical, I'm going to use. I'm going to click on my circle here. First, let me edit. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. 0.5 should be fine. Now that my circle selected, I'm going to type in the mirror command. It's on my first point, so I'm going to go ahead and specify this point here. My second point is going to be anywhere along this vertical line right there. Do I want to erase the original object? No. There's my little eyes. Now to make the mouth, I'm going to do an arc. Click on here, here, and then here. I'm going to do a little sideways mouth here. Do another arc for the bottom lip. There, there, and then maybe perhaps there. I know he looks weird right now. Let's go ahead and give him a nose. Make sure you hover over the circles, you can get right in the middle. And then again, let's go ahead and make these a little bit thinner. We don't want it to be as thick. We don't want it to be as thick as the outline. Little properties. 0.5. I can leave it like that. So there's a little snowman coming along. And for arms, we're going to use the line command. And I'm going to start right here. Go out a little bit. Give some little fingers. What I'm doing here, my keyboard is clicking the space bar, which allows me to go back to my last command. If my last command was line, then it's going to go to my last command, which was line. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the trim command one more time. Enter, enter. Get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and make this color brown. So I go to properties. Let's change this to a little dark orange. Make it brown. There we go. And same thing, mirror. Anywhere 
on this mirror plane right here. Do I want to erase the original one? No. Nope. So they have my snowman has arms now. I can give him a little hat if I want. Let's go to line. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit thinner. Let's go ahead and go back to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the middle here. Click right there, go out a little bit. That seems to be about three, about 3.25. In my case, yours might be a little bit different. I'm gonna go up about 1.5. Okay. All I'm doing is gonna be half of the hat. The other half will come when I mirror it. There's half a hat. Select all these lines. Mirror. Enter. On that line. Click on this line. No. Trim. Enter. I'm going to go ahead and trim this top of his head here. Now to actually color in the snowman. If you want to give him a scarf, you can do that as well. The way I did it is I click on the circle right here. Go to offset, enter. Select your offset distance. Go ahead and do an offset of 0.75, enter. You can see we can offset that space bar, which was my last command was offset. Nope. Let me go ahead and offset here. 0.75, enter. Click on this right there. And now let's go ahead and make these a little bit thinner. We don't need to make it as thick here. Properties. Let's go about 0 0.5. 0 0.5 should be good. I'm going to use the trim command, enter, enter, and get rid of the other part of the snowman here we don't really need. These I'm going to delete. I cannot trim these. I can only delete these access lines here. All right. And then if you want to do the other part of the scarf, do an arc. Go like this, right? And then once I do that one, I can just copy it copy click on this base point here where it started and then copy to there and copy it there and you can see that the snowman here is starting to get shaped now let's go ahead and shade him in using the hatch command so let's use the hatch command And I can go up here where it says pattern, a little gradient, or I can do a solid. Do solid for his little nose. Pick orange, nice bright orange. And I'll click on his nose right there. Make him a bright nose. I'm going to start a new hatch. For this one, I'm going to do a gradient hatch. And I'm going to do a black and let's do a little bit of gray here for his little hat. There it is. And I can choose different gradients. I can do this one where it's like black in the middle. I can choose where it's like a, a spherical. All right, you play around with those. You figure out what you want to do. That looks nice. Enter. All right. And so you just keep going. And then you can make a tiny little snowman. Or you can make uh, a smaller one or a bigger one. It's up to you. Add different colors. Add a different smile. Add a different nose up to you right, have fun i hope you guys like this video uh, and if you find this useful make sure you like and subscribe thank you